Now, the tussle between Oli and Prachanda has led to political instability in Nepal. Future of embattled Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli now depends on the support he can get from smaller parties. Oli is being supported by the Chinese quarter, which has led to tensions between India and Nepal. Day after day, meetings scheduled to resolve the crisis are being postponed. The meeting of the Nepal Communist Party's standing committee, which was scheduled to be held yesterday, was postponed once again. Oli is fighting to keep the seat of the Prime Minister and Pratanda is the challenger this time around. The constitutional amendment which led to the passage of new map of Nepal gave fodder to the anti-Oli camp to dislodge him. KP Sharma Oli and Pratanda are both co-chairs of the Communist Party in Nepal. Both of them have failed to break the deadlock. Oli insists that he would like to retain both his party post and the position of the Prime Minister. Sources also tell Vion that Oli is determined to retain both posts and even willing to split the party in order to retain his control over both the offices. And this is where China comes into the picture. Over the last week, Chinese envoy Yu Yangtri held one-on-one -on -one meetings with all the major stakeholders in the government. The meeting sparked a huge outrage in Nepal. They were seen as Chinese interference in Nepal's domestic matter. Meetings were called by Chinese as attempts to reconcile differences within the ruling party. The meetings also reflect China's growing presence in Nepal. KP Sharma Oli, who started out as the Prime Minister in February 2018, has managed to stay in power for over 850 days, which is the longest that a Prime Minister has been able to hold the position in over 25 years in Nepal.